Hello YouTubers, it's me Big D on the road with Big D here talking about making money expediting. Now I'm laying in my bed here at a pilot here in uh, uh, just south of Bentonville, Arkansas. Got a pickup here tomorrow going to uh, Mexico, Missouri. That's right. Haven't done many videos because last week since I did a move, I was kept busy every day. Now that brings me to a topic. How I made $100,000 my first year, actually in 10 months. Now, when you make $100,000 in expediting, you've got to remember, you're an owner. So if you're an owner-operator, you have cost. So it runs between 35 to 50% your cost. I run in the 35 area, and why is simply because, well, I don't eat out a lot. I don't go sightseeing. I sleep get ready for the next load, which is a good thing because I get inundated with them. So you're going to have to decide how you're going to run. I'm kind of like Alan. We're grinders. Our mileage for the year is very similar to each other. We go to the place, pull in, go to sleep, get up the next morning. If we get an hour or two sleep, we're ready to go for the next load. A lot of people don't want to do that. That's fine. You will not make 100000 if you work for an owner or an owner. It's not going to happen. So just remember that. You're going to have to have your own van. And when you have your own van, that's part of your cost. It's called cost doing business. In other words, not only do you pay your gas, but you have to pay the van payment, the insurance, maintenance, and all those fees. But even doing that, if you took, a, I made over 100, but if you just took $100,000, took 35% off, that's uh, 65000 clear. Now, taxes, your mileage, and what's called per diem, which is, you know, food, things of that nature, that you're allowed to have out on the road. There's a set amount per state for you. Uh, you take that off, and we pay very little to no taxes. So that's an advantage of an owner-operator. Now, some people say that as running for an owner, you get that. If you do that, make sure you get it in writing from the owner that you're going to claim that deduction, because if he does and you do, you both get out of it. He owns the van. So that's what you have to contend with. I am not real big on owners. There's some good ones out there, and there's a lot of bad ones. So just remember, you know, you have to take out costs. Now, here's the thing about working in expedite. First and foremost, how you make money. Well, if you get to a crap here, I, I live in Kansas City. I got there Saturday morning at 7 a.m. We had vans all over the place. I was just told to sit there. Well, I'm not going to get out of there, and I'm not going to get out anywhere I go in the area, so may as well sit there. I sat there to this afternoon. What I did, I changed my oil. I got the van washed. I got a haircut took care of some things in the van and then this evening I moved down here to Arkansas to pick up an appointment. So after I drop in St. Louis, that's the St. Louis here is where it's at, what am I going to do then? Well I'm sure as hell not going to sit there. Why? Because we don't do very well in St. Louis. Each company has its strong points and its weak points. I'm going to Chicago. You see, always have the next step already pre-planned in your head what you're going to do. I'm going to deadhead up there. Right? Four miles. That'll cost me roughly about $40. I'm going to invest $40 to make more money. I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. Last week, I had to deadhead from south of Birmingham to up here in Bentonville. Sounds nuts, but I was sitting down there for three days doing nothing, so, you know, I mean, hey. Uh, I kept moving to trying to get to a better location in the south sucks, so I moved up here. Since I moved up here, I moved from here to Flint, Michigan, 900 miles paid at a good rate. From Flint, Michigan, I went to um, Lakeview, New York, at a good rate. From there, I went deadheaded down to uh, near Pittsburgh. Picked up there, took it to Moline, Illinois. Picked up in Moline, Illinois. Took it over to, uh, oh, Mansfield, Ohio. From there, I picked up in uh, Upper Sandusky, which is just down the street. Took it up to... Uh, Leroy, Michigan. From there, I deadheaded. I got paid to move it 180 miles. I got paid for those miles to go over and pick up and go to Kansas City. I never sat in any place more than an hour or two before I had a load. Now, that you know, I mean, the one up there that night, I drove all night. I got a couple hours sleep, did the next one. I got sleep all night there. Next morning, I got to the next one. So I got to sleep at night, too. So I got plenty of rest. But I made a lot of money doing it. So, had I had not invested the basically $75 in gas to make that move, I would probably be still sitting there. 
So that's what I mean by knowing when to go. When do you move? When do you relocate? And why? You do to make money. Simple as that. Go to where the freight is, not where it's not. If it's dead where you're at, why sit there? You sit for two, three days, get a load. Good for you. You're going to spend money sitting. I'll spend that money in the gas to get to the other area and pick up the stuff moving. That's the first thing you learn in expediting to make really big money. Knowing when to move and when to go to. And that's the key to doing and being successful. A lot of people say, oh, it's just terrible, don't do it. That's fine. That's their choice. Uh, if you're coming out here to sightsee and, uh, you know, enjoy yourself and eat out every night and spend 30 40 50 dollars a day eating out and everything and it's fine it's great if you have to have your six to eight hours sleep every night hey that's fine i'll sleep when i get unloaded somewhere else i'll take a flight that's how i make that kind of money and that's what you have to decide you see you have to decide why you're out here and that's key to success in this business understanding why you're are you here to see the country okay that's great don't expect to make hundred thousand dollars because you're sightseeing. If you're here to make money, make the right decisions, put yourself in the right places to win. The key to success is knowing where to be. There's people who will give you all kinds of stupid advice. I'm not going to be the one. See, one thing you'll find out about me, I'll just tell you straight up. You have to sometimes move. If you're not willing to, you don't have to. But you may sit there for three or four days. While you sat there for those two, three days, I may you know, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars. So you can see why I move. And it's the same thing Alan does too. I was trained by Alan. We talk about moving all the time, where to. And uh, you know I'll call him up, hey I'm here, what do you think? I can give it a day and then go there. Okay. So that's what we do. Now, you know I said I'd give you a little video of my van, so I'm going to give you some side of my van. This is the inside of my van. It's not anything fancy. Here's the walls. You're going to need a safety vest, safety shoes, blah, blah, blah. My bunk is a fold-up cot. Let me turn some light on here so you can see it. I have a light over here. Oh, it's really blind. It runs through the batteries down here batteries up on here because I can't get the screen for some reason. So I gotta turn the phone backwards and do this. Okay, do it this way. There's the batteries. It comes up into the inverter, 3000 watt inverter. There is the basic bunk. I have a 20 degree balloon zero mattress. I have a turbo fan right there. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> no Let me get this over here so I can see better. Uh, a little hard to do when you're holding this. There's my refrigerator, microwave, because I don't need that much. I'm cheap. Turbo fan. Right there. Get them at the Pilot and Flying J's. They're cheap, like 19 bucks or 15. They're great. I stock this thing with food. I hate clothes hanging on the wall. I have a pallet puller and chain down here. So what that is, get the pallets out. I talked about changing oil. And there's the oil change inside. So it's a very basic setup. That's it. I come in, I sleep in the van, I then take off. You can spend a lot of money making a rolling condo if you want. Me, I make it simple, easy, cheap, and going. Now, Bubba Lubbock has an idea about a hanging bed. He uh, runs it off these ratchet straps here. And he hangs them from these points here. It's basically a piece of plywood that uh, has a little bracing under it. You put eyelet hooks on it, and you hook it to these ratchets, and you ratchet it up. And I think I'm going to do that because, like, you know, the other night I had three skids. Had I had that set up, I could have ratcheted up over top of the freight and slap instead of in my front seat. So I think that's going to be my next thing to do is change that. I'm going to set up a system where the refrigerator is that's, I call it an all-in-one. 
and you're going to get to see how that's done. And this will help with air conditioning and everything, make you able to put a basic window unit in this van inexpensively and run it off a generator. So there's things I'm doing to this van that I'm going to take you along for the ride on. But for now, if you're really serious about this kind of work, I want you to do one thing for me. I want you to get in your car, your truck, your SUV, your van if you have one, next weekend or the weekend after, and I want you to go to any truck stop, Pilot, Flying J, you know, Petro, near you, take a pillow and a blanket, that's right, pillow and a blanket, and I'm going to have you sit in a truck stop, there you go, you're going to get to sit in this truck stop, like this one, for the entire weekend. Now, it's going to be hot during the day, which is good, because guess what, it's hot during the day here too. You're going to live in that van or your SUV and everything for one week. If you think I'm kidding, well, there are vans here. Take a look. Vans. That's one of them's mine. There's a couple here that are not. There's a van over here. So, you're going to get the rule. Okay. Because when you look around, it's exactly where we're at. In the parking lot. So, if you don't like hanging out in parking lots like this, in heat, you don't have the amenities, this may not be the job for you. Because you're going to have to do this. You're going to spend a lot of time. So, if two days drives you batshit crazy, don't do this business. I just spent two days uh, in Kansas City, and trust me, that's no picnic. But when I got, you know, I did get a haircut, I got the oil change, I changed my oil, I did get the van washed, the blue beacon because it was filthy. But you have to decide what you can take. Now, if you don't like that, don't do it. Okay? Because if you're on a roll, you're going to be running. You're going to be running all the time. Guess what? That's what you want. That's how you make money. I'm going to give you a little time to sight and everything. I finally got to go to Walmart and restock my refrigerator. I had to eat out a few times because I was on food. I didn't have time to eat some bread. So just remember, you're going to get out of this what you put into it. So if you make $100,000, you are going to have to take off your expenses off of that. So you're going to clear about $65,000 somewhere. Some people will clear fifty. It all depends on how you do it. If you're going to eat out of a steakhouse every night, you're not going to clear $65,000. But if you don't, you're frugal with your money and you eat right and you get out here. I mean, me, I use a lot of TV dinners for fucking quarter, by the way. And it's just as healthy as the food in that restaurant. Get the healthy choices. Now, over here, there's a nice setup. A nice couple here that's now just hired on here. This is the start of the second week. They got the here. Which is good, little. Plastic part of the bumper back here. I'm sure, you know what I'm talking about. My damn. Right in here. He put it there instead of through the metal. However, you do it, it's just an easy thing to get him a camper in case you're wondering. But, uh, yeah. I still advise getting the longest van you can get for comfort. Because with that cotton there, most of the time I will keep my bunk. I need four inches keep my bunk out of that one four inches but I had four more inches I've been able to sleep in my bunk that night but it's just the way it goes and if I'd have had that set up that Bubba has where the bed can ratchet it up I mean I can ratchet it up to the oops sorry <laughs> I can ratchet it up to the ceiling that would have been nice too so in conclusion check to see if you can take hanging out in truck stop parking lots. Do yourself the favor. Figure out why you're coming out here. If it's for money, it's a sightsee, it's an adventure. Figure out why you're here. Thirdly, like I said, learn when to move. 
know when to go. Some people are like, I'm not moving. Well, don't. You don't have to. But I will invest 20, 30 bucks and make 800 every day of the week. And that's what you're doing. Remember, you're in business. You're not making money when you're sitting. You're spending money in these places because you're going in to eat. You're going in to do this. You're not doing that. Well, if you're going to spend that money, you're going to move to the next place and get on the road. So, in conclusion, understand why you're here, what you're out to accomplish. Two, know when to move. Three, go stay at weekend in a parking lot in your vehicle. If it drives batshit crazy just for two days, you sure as hell don't want to be out here because you will sometimes spend three to five days in those parking lots. It's happened. I know it's people who spent 13 days in the radar in that high heat. Yeah, you got to understand what you're getting into out here. If it's the life you choose, great. If it's not, that's so that's okay too. But it's your business. You have to run it the way you see fit. Don't listen to other people. You don't have to listen to me. I'm giving you the pros and cons. Do what you feel is best for you and what your gut tells you to do. Until next time, with more tips on how to make money expediting, it's Big D signing off.